Welcome to the Leister How-To Channel, where we'll explain how to operate the Fusion Extrusion Welder, along with some tips and tricks. Fusion welders arrive in a custom molded case with a specially designed blank welding shoe mounted onto the barrel. Position the stand so that the cord falls vertically. Plug in the Fusion welder. Always make sure your power source voltage is correct and stable. Press the switch to turn on the blower. Adjust the red temperature potentiometer to position 7 and let the tool heat up for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, position the handle and tighten. Following a brief warm-up period, remove the blank welding shoe after the welder has reached operating temperature. Based on the thickness of the material to be welded and the required weld geometry, select the correct welding shoe. The code located on the bottom of the shoe indicates the geometry of the weld and the base material thickness. Alternatively, a shoe profile also can be worked or customized from the supplied blank into the desired shape. The plast and preheat on all Fusion welding shoes are integrated. The shoe can rotate 360 degrees and can be locked at any desired position. Fix the shoe position by turning the set screws on both sides of the shoe until tight. Insert the welding rod on one side or the other but only at one side at a time. Engage the drive motor with the trigger and locking switch. Make sure your welding rod is clean and dry. In dusty environments, a cleaning cloth can be lightly clipped onto the rod and used to ensure that only clean rod is being fed into the mechanism. The processing temperatures for the type of plastic being welded can be found in the material manufacturer's data sheet. To test the plast temperature, insert a needle temperature probe and measure the material at 10 millimeters inside the welding shoe. Measure the air temperature at 5 mm in the preheating nozzle with a clean probe. By turning the red potentiometer, you can adjust the temperature as needed. Use a Leister preheating reflector to preheat the welding shoe and maintain welding shoe temperature while at rest. For an ideal welding seam result, remove the invisible oxide layer from your material using a scraper. If necessary, parts can be tacked for welding using a Leister hot air hand tool and tacking nozzle. Preheat the area where the welding begins. Hold the extrusion welder at a right angle while pressing the trigger to engage the drive motor at the same time. Move the welder forward at a constant speed and pressure along the areas to be joined. The hot plasts can be worked manually to provide a smooth professional finish. The weld bead dimensions can easily be checked with a welding gauge before changing the welding shoe or cooling down the tool, trim the welding rod leaving about a 6 inch length in the feed mechanism. And with another 6 inch length of welding rod, take a pair of pliers and carefully push the rod approximately 1 centimeter into the hole of the welding shoe and hold it in the molten plastic for about 10 seconds. When changing a welding shoe or if your welding work is finished, Clean as much plastic as possible from the welding shoe prior to cool down. A brass brush works great for this and it also is gentle on the parts being cleaned. As a reminder, follow all of the previous steps while the tool is still at its operating temperature. Now, before switching the tool off, turn the red temperature potentiometer to the zero position and let the blower run for at least five minutes to allow the welder to cool down. Switch off your Fusion Extrusion Welder, and now it's ready to be stored and in the case until you need it again. Thank you for using the Leister Fusion Extrusion Welder.